So when I'm deadlifting, I think about squeezing my upper back down and back, uh, really squatting the weight up and then hinge as fast as possible to get the bar as fast as possible against my thighs and then yeah drive really powerful through the heels and stand up tall. or 210 pounds is uh, moving really slow today so <laughs> I don't uh, know about that uh, 180 kg It was not, not good. Damn, my back was all fucking rounded, so... <sighs> Don't do that ever, guys. It's really bad, but I want to get that 180, so <laughs> I did it. I put up the weight and put it back down, so... Uh, that's enough for those heavies today. Now we're gonna switch over to heavy fives. Uh, perform clean, explosive reps from the ground up. And yeah, this is the next exercise. So the next exercise is a deadlift with a pause on shin level. So I talked about this before. Uh, it's a really good exercise to work on that upper back, uh, getting it strong, uh, firm, and yeah, you don't wanna break in that department when it comes down to lifting heavy uh, weights, because if you break in the upper back, it's more, most likely that you're gonna break in your lower back. So. Uh, Many people neglect upper back training, but uh, yeah, training it isometrically to really uh, work on that position where you hold a really heavy weight in your hands and yeah, explode up. So uh, the deadlift with pause on shin level is therefore a great exercise because you pause for one second below knee level and then you explode up. So. You have to really engage those lads, those traps, those rhomboids to keep you in place and don't break uh, form. up we have uh, sumo deadlifts oh, I was planning to do RDLs but I already did RDLs uh, with my uh, Olympic lifting clean and jerk day so I'm gonna do sumos it's a uh, it's a long long time ago I performed sumo so 
we're gonna see how it goes and uh, we're gonna perform no more than five repetitions going for a heavy five. And So my sumo technique isn't the best, but uh, I'm, I'm a guy with really long and long arms, long legs, so I'm supposed to be better at sumos than conventional, because conventional is a more crushed position, and with sumos you can spread your mass along the length of the, the bar, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna go up in weight again for 315 or 310 pounds. So that was the deadlift workout, so I'm gonna now switch over to do some uh, snatch uh, technique exercises to work on my uh, snatch technique because later in the day I'm gonna perform some uh, uh, power snatches, some snatch pulls, but I'm gonna focus more on strength now, so I'm gonna do two movements that help me building that strength out here in the snatch position and yeah So this is a really good exercise to learn, uh, no, yes to learn the position, correct positioning of the uh, snatch technique, but also uh, you slow down the, the movement to getting stronger in the first half of the movement. The last exercise is a uh, snatch pull with a pause on shin level. So that's the last exercise of today to really work on that, that power speed production uh, as last exercise. Always good to go lighter and more explosively to really uh, tap in those last uh, motor units in your muscles uh, to really shut off a great uh, that lift day, so
training. Uh, I had to cut it a little bit shorter because I have to be in time for my mother because she's uh, she's um, it's her birthday, so I'm gonna buy a cake for her and uh, yeah, I wish her a happy birthday. So I hope you liked the video and subscribe to my channel and. I hope you leave a comment down below what you think of this training and yeah, I hope to see you next time guys, peace.